have a clear sight glass here with no markings on it. We need to ensure that the sprayer is level and that as we're in filling from here, we mark off in either 50 or 100 litre increments. A final check calibration that you can do is know the volume of your hopper. If you know the volume of your hopper, when you go to a different water source, you can actually check that your inflow calibration is still right here. If that, in this case here, holds 61 litres, I go to another water source, I can check that I'm getting 61 litres at that water source. And I know that there's no restriction in supply, which is actually interfering with the performance of my inflow meter. For the spray unit's flow meter, it's important to probably check it, you know, a few times a year. And you may have to make some adjustments if you go from a 50 litre to a 100 litre water rate. It may pay just to check that, that flow meter calibration at, at that point in time. Firstly, we've leveled the spray unit up, so we know we're, we're on a level deck. Secondly, we're going to look at turning the pony flow on. And once we get water flowing through it with the pump, we'll record that litres per minute that it's actually recording through this flow meter. The actual fill figure will come up down the bottom and that we'll use this figure here in 100 litre increments for, to put our marks on our sight glass. So that's zero. Can you see that? Yeah. Going through that process is really important so that we really have the right figure for how much water is going in the tank. You'll notice the tank indications are all the same spacing up through the tank, but the tank bulges in the centre. So the accuracy of those markings is quite questionable. They'll be accurate at the start of the tank and at the finish of the tank. But when you're going back for that part load, you don't have the accuracy that you need to get the right amount of water in.